you must be clear what is it that you really want. If you do not know what you want, the question of creating it doesn't arise. You might have heard of people for whom they asked for something and beyond all expectations it came true to… true for them. Generally this happens to people who are in… Let's say you want to build a house. If you start thinking, oh, I want to build a house, to build a house I need fifty lakhs, but I have only fifty rupees in my pocket, not possible, not possible, not possible. The moment you say not possible, you are also saying I don't want it. So on one level, you are creating a desire that you want something, on another level, you are saying I don't want it. So in this conflict, it may not happen. You might have heard of people for whom they asked for something and beyond all expectations it came true to the, true for them. Generally this happens to people who are in faith. Now, someone who has some faith in a god or in a temple or whatever, who is have simple-minded, faith works only for those people who are simple-minded. Thinking people, people who are too much thinking, for them it never works. A childlike person who has a simple faith, in his god or his temple or whatever. He goes to the temple and says, Shiva, I want a house. I don't know how, you must make it for me. Now in his mind, there are no negative thoughts. Will it happen? Will it not happen? Is it possible? Is it not possible? These things are completely removed by this simple act of faith. Now he believes Shiva will do it for him and it will happen. So is Shiva going to come and build your house? No, I want you to understand, God will not lift his little finger for you. What you refer to as God is the source of creation. As a creator, he has done a phenomenal job, there's no question about it. Could you think of a better creation than this? Is it in anybody's imagination to think anything better than what is there right now? So as a creator, he has done his job wonderfully well. But if you want life to happen the way you want it, because right now the very crux of your happiness and your well-being is this, if at all if you're unhappy, <laughs> the only and only reason why you're unhappy is life is not happening the way you think it should happen. That's all it is. So if life is not happening the way you think it is… it should happen, you're unhappy. If life happens the way you think it should happen, you are happy. It's as simple as that. So if life has to happen the way you think it should happen, first of all, how you think, with how much focus you think, how much stability is there in your thought and how much reverberance is there in the thought process will determine whether your thought will become a reality or is it just an empty thought. Or how, how you do not create any impediments for your thought, by creating negative thought process. This possible, is something possible or not possible? Is destroying humanity. What is possible and not possible is not your business, it's nature's business. Your business is just to strive for what you want. Right now you're sitting here, if I ask you two simple questions, I want you to just look at this and answer this. Right now from where you're sitting, can you just fly off? You say no. Right now from where you're sitting, can you get up and walk? You'll say yes. What is the basis of this? Why you say no to flying and yes to walking? Because past experience of life, many times you've gotten up and walked, never did you fly off. Or in other words, you're using the past experience of life as a basis for deciding whether something is possible or not possible. Or in other words, you have decided that what has not happened till now cannot happen in your life in future. This is a disgrace to humanity and the human spirit. What has not happened till now on this planet can happen tomorrow. Human beings are capable of making it happen tomorrow. So what is possible and what is not possible is not your business. That is nature's business, nature will decide that. You just 
see what is it that you really want and strive for that. And if your thought is created in a powerful way, without any negativity, without any negative thoughts bringing down the intensity of the thought process, the first and foremost thing is you must be clear what is it that you really want. If you do not know what you want, the question of creating it doesn't arise. Right now the problem with your mind is, every moment it is changing its direction. It is like you want to travel somewhere and every two steps if you keep changing your direction, the question of you reaching the destination is very remote unless it happens by chance. So organizing our minds fundamentally means moving from a compulsive state of activity to a conscious state of activity. 